Genevieve here. And Haley. And we're buzzing with excitement to be back with another great video from the Native Pollinator Initiative. This time we're here to introduce you to one of our favorite tools in bumblebee conservation. We'll give you our take on why we think it's so great and why we think you might love using it just as much as we do. Have you ever stopped to watch a bumblebee on a flower and wondered to yourself what species it was? You might even be saying to yourself, I didn't even know there was more than one kind of bumblebee. We hear this a lot, so we wanted to share with you an amazing tool that can teach you how to identify all the bumblebees you're seeing. Not only is this tool fun and educational for you, but as an added bonus, you'll be contributing valuable data to research and conservation all across North America. So you might be thinking, well, what is this great tool? Allow us to introduce you to Bumblebee Watch, a North American bumblebee community science platform where users can upload a photo of a bumblebee and use easy to use identification tools that are made specifically for the region where that bumblebee was spotted. Every bumblebee photo submitted by a user becomes part of a massive database of species records that help researchers like us expand our survey coverage. And that's a big deal because our time and resources are limited. We are only two people and we can only be so many places at once. But volunteers like yourself can help us be in a hundred places at once. Or what about 60,000 places at once? Bumblebee Watch was launched in 2014 and since then, almost 60,000 bumblebee records have been submitted. And these include records from every state, province and territory for almost all of the 46 species of bumblebees we have here in North America. Now, can you imagine how long it might have taken WPC's team to collect all that information? It would be impossible. We would not be able to submit that many records without the help of our Bumblebee Watch users. And that means that we wouldn't be able to learn nearly as much as we know today. Bumblebee Watch users have captured nearly all of North America's bumblebee species, which means that community scientists have successfully located rare and threatened species. Way to go, Bumblebee Watch users! Having this huge database means that we're better equipped to evaluate the health of our bumblebee populations. This means that species status assessments are better informed, and we can implement better conservation initiatives for species in need. There you have it! We have so much fun using Bumblebee Watch all across North America, and we absolutely love what the platform does to support the conservation of the amazing bumblebees that we are so fond of. Are you someone who loves taking photographs of wildlife? Or are you someone who likes a good challenge outdoors? Or maybe you just like the idea of contributing valuable information to conservation initiatives in your community. If any of this sounds like you, we think you'd have fun with Bumblebee Watch too. In the next few videos, we're going to show you just how easy it is to use the Bumblebee Watch website and the app, and we'll teach you some great bumblebee identification tips so you can be a bumblebee expert from anywhere. It's time for us to buzz off again. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And check out some of the other videos we've made for this series. Hey Haley, before you go, what do you call a bee who's having a bad hair day? A frisbee! Oh gosh, see what I have to deal with? I'll get her back next time. <laughs>